Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to another episode of Virtue's Last Reward. Last time, we solved the tea room. Struggled a bit, but I'd say it was a decently clean run. So now we've escaped and we'll see what we're gonna do now. Huh. Oh, <laughs> yeah, why am I reading that? Let's see how everyone else is doing. K had to solo his white room because Quark and Dio were knocked out. Um, it was Clover Luna with a knocked out Alice. And we also found two vials of Axie Lavier. So we can cure them. Um, especially since one of the bottles didn't turn up. And technically, because everyone has radical sits, if we can get the other bottle of Axie Lavier, we can actually make sit toppies, which will um, save us. Luna doesn't need one, and I think we don't need a save Dio, so... I don't know if K needs one, to be honest, but we'll see. Hey, wait. Did you guys hear something? It's the rumba! You didn't hear it? It came from over there. It sounds like something's turning on. See? I told you. This screen wasn't on before. Oh, is this the jumpy password? I don't know the ID, though. That was when I noticed the illustration. The lion is eating the sun. The lion is eating the sun. The lion is eating the... Memento Mori. If the... Remember death. If the ninth lion ate the sun. Um, is this the ninth time we see the lion? I don't know what the ID could be, though. Oh, of course. This was the real ninth lion. But if that was the case... Oh, no. Wait. Remember death. Mentomori. Remember death. Mentomori. Remember. Okay, this is a little concerning. I don't exactly know. Oh god. Okay, um. Let me bring out my sheet. So we've used all the ones except for, um, so Luna's was two-headed lion eating the sun. We have Akane's, Akane's password, which is Jumpy Doll. I don't exactly have, um, unless it's Memento Mori. <laughs> Does it moment it doesn't fit? I doubt it's the stuff we had before. We can try it though. And try jumpy it all. Unless it's Kurashiki. Could be Kuru Shiki. Is that how you spell her name, though? I, I was showing the quirk ending. Or is it Kuro? I actually think that you do it, it fits, so I think that's actually the password, eh? Jumpy. Otherwise, it's not Kuro Shiki, I think. Is that how you spell her name? Ah, <laughs> uh, this is a problem. Yeah, I, all the only passwords I have are the bomb passwords, the dates. But I mean, I doubt it's this. Mil Cavoli, Jumpy Doll, <laughs> Jumpy Doll. 
Okay, I'm not I'm not donking it yet. I'm just I don't know how to spell her last name. Atene Kuro Kurashiki. Kurashiki, right? It, it's Kurashiki. Okay, okay. It's not cheating. I just didn't remember her name. If this works, then we're a genius. Otherwise, we'll have to think a bit harder. Jumpy doll. Yes! Dude, I'm actually... Dude, I'm proud of myself. I guess I didn't close this sheet now. Okay. I just forgot her name. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it, was, it was close, though. One letter off, as per usual. Yo! What's up, Akane? Y your... Good for you, Jump Junpei. Too bad she's dead. <laughs> it's unlucky. He walked toward her. Slowly, carefully, almost as if he was afraid of scaring her away, he reached out. Tenmyoji squeezed his eyes shut. He closed his hand around the empty air and let it fall to his side. There was a moment of sad silence, and then she began to speak. Wait, let me move that. Yep, let's see how much answers we can get. I feel like not enough. The AB project. Yes, yes, sir. Okay, you're bringing up the tension. Oh? Oh, so we're not time... Tr oh! Okay. Because I knew it had something to do with, like, probably stopping the world from... Or humanity from being destroyed by the virus. But I guess that made... I didn't really think of how, just because it's so you know, out there. But I guess that made sense if uh, Sigma and Phi um, have the ability to look at different timelines. If uh, maybe this was to train them to get the powers to go back to stop the virus from ever happening. Okay, I, I think that, at least that's what I think right now. What do you mean the past? The moment the words were out of my mouth, I realized no one there could answer the question. Not Phi, not Tenmyoji, and certainly not a pre-recorded hologram. I mean, Tenmyoji might be able to. <clears throat> Quantum? <laughs> It took me a moment to realize she's changed subjects without even pausing. There was nothing we could do, of course, but I still felt a tinge, a twinge of frustration. Oh. 
Oh. Yeah. With Zero Jr. and Luna. Sorry, I'm just concentrating, <laughs> deciphering everything. They talked about this before, too, when we first met Zero Senior in the other room. Basically saying that, yes, well, we assume everyone's at an individual level, and it is true. Maybe if you can look at it from a higher plane, one that humans can't even imagine, then maybe we are connected, I guess is what they're trying to say. We just, it's just impossible to see as humans. Hanmyoji mumbled something that sounded like nonsense. I opened my mouth to ask him what it meant, but Akane was already talking again. Oh god. I think I get it, kind of, on a basic level. Yeah, I 
Said when watching a 4D movie, man. <laughs> Because mm. it's connected. I see. Okay, so sh the hypothesis that that's how consciousness works, which I guess you can get from evidence of the morphogenic, morph whatever it's called, morphogenic field that we learned in 999, which is a real thing in this universe, obviously. Then they can come to that conclusion, I guess. Very stuffed translation, but that's okay. Hey! So she knew Tenmyoji would be here in this... in this timeline. <laughs> oh! We did do that. I kind of forgot about that in 999 because we do know different like timeline stuff happened. But I kind of forgot in the end um, uh, that Junpei did actually affect the past. Oh, wow. <laughs> so it was shown before. Dude, that totally skipped my mind. I remember that now that she brought it up. Suddenly it felt like Fai and I were outsiders, trespassing on something we had no right to see. Tenmyoji's face was taunt with emotion as he looked into Akane's eyes. It seemed almost like she was looking back at him. Bruh, you barely explained shit. At least I know your plan, but... Oh yeah, this is the this is the route where she's not dead though, right? Or we didn't find her body in this section, so But then how would Dio even get here? I don't know, maybe there's like more holograms. <laughs> and then she was gone. Tenmyoji collapsed to his knees, his back hunched and shaking. I saw tears land on the white knuckled fists he pressed against his thighs. I kept quiet. What was there to say? Fai and I looked at one another and nodded silently. With a shaking hand, Tenmyoji pulled a photograph out of his pocket. It was a picture of a girl. After all that we'd been through, her smile was enough to break your heart. Well, let's go save the world. Somehow. <laughs> we made our way to the warehouse on floor A and met up with the others. It took only a few minutes to decide to head to the infirmary. I 
As soon as we arrived, we began to treat Alice and Quirk for radical suits. I gave Luna the axilavir that I found in the tea room. She quickly prepared it and... But don't we need to duplicate it for the rest of us? <laughs> Injected Alice and Quirk. How's Dio doing? <laughs> I want to see his reaction that his bomb got defused. Don't sweat it. Tenmyoji said nothing, just walked over to Quartz's unconscious body. He took the small boy's hand in his own and held it tight. I could see tears at the corners of his eyes as he turned away from us. Suddenly I remembered, Dio, where had he gone? It didn't take me long to find him. Oop. Hey. Same fate, dude, I mean, it's karma. He was sprawled unconscious on the floor beneath the sink. Handcuffs? Were they there before? I don't remember. Hand oh, blocking the doors, right, and you unlock it with a key. I totally missed that. <laughs> True. We're about to save humanity. I coughed awkwardly and looked pointedly around the room. I glanced over at Fi to see she was doing the same thing. After that, we headed back to the Floor A warehouse to play the AB game. Specifically, me, Fi, K, and Luna. Clover and Tenmyoji decided to remain in the infirmary, just in case something happened with Alice, Quirk, or Dio. Luna would represent Clover's team, so always ally, with Quirk and Dio sleeping, K would represent their team by default, but Chef, me, Fi, and Tenmyoji. So we just ally, hard ally, every round. You should vote. What? That doesn't matter now. Hey, you're acting like I might actually try and betray her. You know, you don't need to worry. Just just ally to your heart's content. I hope Luna can come. I know we're gonna change the past, so maybe this future won't even happen. But I'd like to imagine that this future happens and the past is happy and it kind of like branches off or whatever. And you know, we can just live a happy life with the crew. <laughs> Well, the real timeline is now fixed and humanity is safe. I mean. Do we need to bring Dia? Yep, just a beast ally every time. Yep, it's logically sound. Where there's literally no point to betray, unless you want to snake others from escaping <laughs> faster. I handed her the star key. So we're not even going in. I wonder if there is gonna be like a time limit for cooldown, or can we just rapid fire it? Yeah, 
Yeah, so we're gonna have to wait a while for this to resolve. Grab a snack at the pantry, eat at the Luna Garden, and chill. Yeah. Hmm. Luna and Kay set off toward the yellow door. I was about to follow one. What's up? What? Yeah, she was dead. Or her corpse was found. Uh, oh yeah, you're right. Akane's body was in there. What does this mean? Why didn't we find your body this time? But then how would Dio dead in? But we need to ask, I guess. But how? When did history change? Or we can ask Luna, I guess, technically. Or we changed history somehow, <laughs> already. <laughs> And Akane is the cat in the box. The Schrodinger's cat thing. I wonder what she meant about us deciding its fate. Huh? Mm. What? No, that's impossible. We've already opened the box. We opened the door to this AB room and there is no body. Where was Aklane now? Where was she waiting for us? Beautiful garden? <laughs> or Luna garden, I should say. I don't know. Is there a significant place? Maybe the rec room where Tenmi- Or not the rec room. Whatever. The end minister room. Where Tenmioji used her picture. Maybe. Maybe hidden behind the wall of the end minister room. You know how it like twirls? I don't know. That's a pretty good hiding spot. Or what if she wasn't anywhere now? What if she was waiting for us in another timeline? Or what if she was waiting for us in the past? Was that even possible? If she was, what would that mean? Oh, what's happening? I actually don't know where this is gonna lead. What does this mean? What? Wait, what? A new destination has been added to the flowchart. We got baited. What's happening? Hello? New new route. Oh. I guess we can ta- Oh. You know what's going to happen? Now that we've succeeded in, I don't know, our training, we can go back to the past. And I guess we're just not going to win and see everyone leave, but that's okay. We go back to the past. We escape before Dio, because we already know the password. And we apprehend him and prevent Akane from dying. Maybe. Oh, wait, no, this is the start, though, so I don't know where this is. I don't know. Okay, this is, that's pretty cool. I was, I was kind of memeing that there might be another route, but I didn't actually think they would add it. I guess there is an empty space up here. <laughs> All right, let's go. AB room passed. Hmm. Ah. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Damn it. Feels like my head's gonna explode. Wait. We're back at the start. Where the hell am I? Dude, too bad we don't get to see Dio's reaction. Though we might get to see a funny reaction now. 
But I would have liked to see Dio's reactions, knowing that we stopped the bombs. <laughs> Where the hell am I? Looks like an elevator, but... Ah! Who the hell are you? And what the hell's an AB room? Memory? Memory. Nope, we got our memory. The story's been solved, besides a lot of other questions. Like why we have synthetic arms, who is Phi, why can we loop, uh, stuff like that. <laughs> I remember! You're Phi! She grinned. When is this? It's a red pair. BP is 3. Does this mean this is the beginning of the game? We've gone back to when we first woke up in the AB room. Ooh, so we can intercept. How do you know? Two hours, 15 minutes. I don't remember <laughs> the time, to be honest. Oh, an hour. Okay, that's like pretty good. Wait a minute. If you're right. Then. Save Akane before the game even starts. To stop her from getting killed. Let's move. We need to get out of here fast. We don't even need to solve anything though, right? We already have the passwords. Unless they change. True quarters. Apparently, I I didn't read it directly, but I saw some comments say that they randomize per game. So, kind of a bummer, but... We don't need to look there. This is our past, remember? That means we're just repeating history. You see what I'm getting at? The password for the safe should be the same one we got earlier. Exactly. Now hurry and open it. My bad. I was trying to click on the safe. <laughs> you want to open the... <laughs> should we open the secret password? It would be kind of funny. Uh, elevator. Sun, star, moon. Sun, star, moon. Ayla Mao, got the golden file. What? Okay, I opened it. No, that's the wrong password. We need the other one to get the key. It's empty. Oh, sorry. I, I thought it was funny. Alright, let's get the real one now. Uh, star, sun, moon. I will say, I've been really enjoying the last couple episodes. The ending's been... Final part's been pretty lit. There, it's open. Good work. Hurry up and grab the cracker. Cracker? Ah, damn, I meant key. How the hell? Just shut up and do it. Key and safe found. Beautiful. You don't want to talk to Bunny? Guess not. Alright, let's put the key in here. For God's sake, just do it already. No need to yell. Alright, good. Let's take it worked. Ready, Fi? What do you think? I know, I know. I don't need to ask every time, right? Then why the hell are you asking? Hurry up and... Right, right. I'm going, I'm going. Ten, nine, eight, one, done. Hey, you pushed the button. Bite me, you are taking too long. We're on a schedule here. Ugh. You found it. Speed run complete. Well, Fine and I climbed up through the hatch and out onto the top of the AB room. 
It took us only a moment to spot them. Atene. Behind her was Dio. He was moving quickly and quietly, a knife glinting in his right hand. Shit. There was no time to yell to her. I scrambled down from the top of the AB room. Fi wasn't following me. When I looked back, she was standing on the roof. Fi, what the hell are you doing? Get down here and... Before I could finish, she moved. You know, she got the hops. She ran across the roof and launched herself into the air. Whoa! <laughs> the drop kit. <laughs> Yo. What the? I bent down and held my fingers in front of his mouth. He was still breathing. Kai went down like a sack of potatoes. True. I heard footsteps come to a stop right in front of us. I looked up. Oh, we made it. Wait, just wait a minute. What the hell is your deal? How can you be so calm? If he hadn't shown up just now, you'd... you'd... That, that what? I mean, come on, Sigma. It's all part of the plan. They know everything. Sigma should know this from the Luna talk. I mean, that's kind of true too, but that doesn't have anything to do with it. Oh, well, but I thought this was planned. I thought she just saw... I guess that's how they did it, eh? They planned this thing because they could see through the future, kind of, too, maybe? Then what the hell were you thinking? If you knew he was going to stab you, why were you going to let him do it? You what? Yep, it was all f it was a training arc for Fi and Sigma to save the world. <laughs> and it's fake death. <笑>あの、ベイクダス。<笑> What the fuck is that? Oh! Okay, I got it. Oh, so that's a slingshot from uh, that other room. Oh, wait, no, there wasn't a slingshot. Wasn't there? I don't know. Whatever. I, I, get, I get her point. <laughs> Kind. I get it as much as you can since, you know, it's not real, but... <laughs> Again, basically training art. <laughs> oh, and my right foot cramped. Ouch. <laughs> it's like asleep and cramping. <laughs> no, dude. Okay, it's actually getting better, but I was I was holding it in, but I couldn't. <laughs> Yo, 
三次元の呪縛から解き放たれるということですそのためにあなた方にはラジカルシックスに感染していただきましたわお、わお、わお、わお、I mean, s i d m a should have remembered that from Luna, but whatever. Sigma s a o v e r t i m a e n t a Luna a b e t o k i d i t a o So she predicted that Luna would tell, betray, bet or break the rules and tell s i d m a which is interesting. Anatagata was t o r i n o k o r a u r a i c a l Six, and c a n s e n t e m a s ゴーレムであるルナを除いて全員がです。理由は今申し上げた通りです。まずはあなたたちの思考速度を増やす。OK、interesting。ためる必要がありました。その状態で、Didn't really think of that part of the plan。気を与えて、脳の情報処理速度を加速させたのです。結果は、あなたたちの意識は三次元空間から打ち出され、Playing 4D chess, literally. けれど単に意識を飛ばすだけでは不十分でした。記憶が保たれていない可能性があったからです。この計画を完全に成し遂げるためには、あなた方にすべての歴史の出来事を覚えていてもらう必要がありました。そこであなた方には、繰り返し何度も何度も。That's like one of the bigger questions is why couldn't. I can a just do it herself since she has the ability. Maybe it is age. So, s u r u k o t o n i o t e j o j o n i k i o k u a t o k a s a r e t e k i y a g a t e w a s u b e t e n o k i o k o k o j i s h t a m a m a j i k a n c h o y a k o k o n a k o t o n a d e k i r i o n i a r i m a s a d g a m o k o n a t e t a d a i t a n o a d a k a r a d e s k a r a t o d o a o s e n t a k s a s e t a n o m o s o n o t a m e d e s I t o t e k i n i r e x i o e d a w a k a r e s a s e r u k o t o n i o t e a n a t a t a c h i n i y o r i o k u n o j a m p o o k u n a t e i t a d a k o u I get it. I think I finally understand. Well, okay, there are a lot of things I don't understand, like my arms, but all of what you've just told me made sense. You did all of this so that fine I could. Jump through four dimensional space with our memories intact. Right? Yep. But why did you need us to do that? Thought this was explained, Sidma. <laughs> people have died for this. I mean, let's count how many different ways people died murder, antimatter, explosion, suicide. I've died, so is Fi, so have you. Oh, don't even show me that Luna picture, man. It just makes me sad. So, why would you do all this? To save humanity. What does it matter that Fi and I jump through time? Yep, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about Sidma. He's a little. He sometimes misses the point. Forgive us, Atene. I already know all that. What I'm asking you is why? What is so goddamn important that it's worth all this? <laughs> uh, hello? Just say it. Bullshit. That's not good enough. Why can't you tell us now? Instead of answering, Aten and Nat down to Dio and picked up his knife off the floor. Don't change the subject. What are you talking about? We've got plenty of time. What? No! What? What? Lego morph? Hi, bunny. They don't morph. <laughs> I'm just trying to call him bunny. Okay. 
準備は整いました今リオの左手首にはバングルがはめられていますあとは彼の体を第 5AB ルーム右から2番目の部屋に運び込めます so, so what I'm getting is this pass is actually the route that fits into this because that's why we didn't find Akane's body in the chamber was because we actually changed it without even changing it yet because time's not linear <laughs> i think yeah that's why we don't find it because we actually already saved her but we saved her in the future but we could only change the past in the future but since we were going to change the future the past already changed that's why we already saw the results of it i guess <laughs> Need a hand? <laughs> little, little old. <laughs> Why do you need to do all that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> つまり別の意識がつまり別の意識がつまり別の意識がつまり別の意識がつまり別の意識がつまり別の意識がつまり別の意識がつまり別の意識がつまり別の意識がつまり別の意識がつまり別の意識がつまり別の意識がつまり別
Quark, he's awake. Alice? <laughs> no problem. All in a day's work. Although, I wouldn't mind a little swimsuit action. We did not forget. <laughs> Please, Alice. You're our only hope. Hey, I wasn't talking to Twork. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Come on, Fi. That was an offer for Alice. <laughs> okay. Were you guys playing while we were asleep? Huh? Um... It, it says 10. I have 10 VP. Yeah, so we were out for a while, eh? Okay, so we do that to see reactions to... Nice. Made sense of this. But how? Three times? Please, Luna, please come with us. <laughs> well, no, no. There could have been a nightmare choice. There could have been a nightmare pain where it was like me, Fi, or Sigma, Fi, and Dio, where none of us could vote and then we would just die. <laughs> so, luckily, we missed that one option, but yeah. Everyone's ready. I was stunned. How had everyone cooperated long enough to raise all of our BP past 9? Was it because Akane hadn't been killed? Without a death to start things off, maybe we'd been less suspicious of one another. Or could the bombs have something to do with it? We'd all joined forces against Dio and Fi and I had been able to disarm all of them. All of us had been banded together against a common enemy and overcame a tremendous threat. Perhaps that had strengthened our bond. Which I had to admit would be somewhat ironic. <laughs> After all, Dio had planted the bombs that forced us all to work together against him. This must have been what Akane was talking about. Necessary evil. Wait. What about him? After some discussion, we decided to leave Dio behind? Yo, that's fucked up! Alice was the only holdout. She complained about wanting to take him back to her superiors, but after I mentioned they'd come back to investigate after we escaped and deal with Dio then, she reluctantly complied. Oh, Dio. I mean, it's actually just karma, since he's... He's literally the main bad guy, but <laughs> whatever. And I guess there's no other place to investigate. I guess Octane could have just left. <laughs> Everybody ready? I'm gonna open it. Everyone else swallowed and nodded. I grabbed the lever and pulled it down. We've been waiting for this moment. <laughs> The full gang leaving, besides Dio, but he's not really part of the gang. 
please all I dude, all I'm wishing for is Luna Luna's happiness. Honestly. Will she actually be able to leave? <laughs> Alright, everybody, let's move. Well, I know she didn't leave, but can she leave the facility? Is there a point of leaving the facility though? I didn't need to tell them twice. The room inside was clearly load a loading elevator. It looked sort of like a large plate on top of a huge pedestal. We ran to the center of the plate and turned around. The number nine door stood wide open. Dio howling in the background. <laughs> No last goodbye to Bunny, though? I already forgot his true name. <laughs> He's just Bunny to me. Beyond the door was a wide hallway that ended in a very solid wall. To the left, we found a very familiar looking door. We pushed it open and went in. The pressure exchange chamber. Yeah, sort of. This whole facility is pressurized apparently. I think the idea is to keep the air outside and consequently the virus from getting inside. That means that if we want to go out, we have to decompress so we match the outside air pressure. Also, we're still infected by the way, <laughs> but whatever. This room here is where you prepare for going to the actual pressure exchange room. You see all those suits along the wall? I figure we need to put those on and head to the decompression room downstairs. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Of course, according to Akane, we were all already infected with radical sits, so the whole room seemed a little pointless. Well, not Alice and Quark. They're... they're chillin'. No one else objected. We all donned the protective suits and headed downstairs to the decompression room. As soon as we were all inside, the process began. Through my helmet, I could hear the soft hiss of air being sucked out of the room. We stood there for several minutes, waiting for the process to finish. At last it did, and we heard the door begin to open. Beyond it was another decompression chamber. We repeated the process two more times before we reached the final door and opened it. Freedom!
The dead bleat landscape wasn't a surprise for me. I'd seen it before in another timeline. The others hadn't, however, and although I couldn't see their faces through the visor of their helmets, I heard more than a few gasps over the radio. For a few long moments, we just stood there astonished. A Tenmyojin fort shouldn't be too surprised. Nope, it's fake. Whatever we were, must have been far away from any city. Wherever. Yeah. Must have been far away from any city. The air was cleaner than I'd ever seen it. And the stars, the sky was full of them. More stars than I'd ever seen in my life. I could even spot a hazy arm of the Milky Way. But the most striking feature was the moon. It was blood red and massive. Much bigger in fact than I remembered it being. I mean, again, we, I've said this before. I do think we're on the moon and that's the earth just fucked up. Then, as I watched, a black spot began to move across its surface. It was hard to see details, but it looked circular. The spot continued to move across the moon, heading for the right edge. Wait, what? What's that? That's our shadow, yeah. Okay, yeah. Tenmyoji knows everything anyways. At least the environment. The moon's shadow? I frowned. That didn't make any sense. But we're already out. Who cares? <laughs> oh. We're on the moon. What the hell are you saying? It was the fake out. <laughs> what? No, no way. If that's the Earth, then where the hell are we? <laughs> yeah, Quart knows everything too. <laughs> Guess Dio's never getting out. <laughs> no investigation. She picked up a rock and dropped it. That is true. Where's the gravity stuff? <laughs> Luna? No, it's okay, Luna. At least you're outside. It's kind of hype. Oh, 
Oh, it's because our brain's processing it differently, so it looks like there's no gravity when there actually no gravity problem when there is. Yeah, so maybe we are experiencing the gravity thing, but we're just not processing it right. I got it, Luna, don't worry. We're just perceiving it differently. It's the easy answer. We did? Oh, how we feel weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. That was a while ago. I thought it was the Radical Six. Yeah, I thought that was the Radical Six, but it's actually the gravity. Well, I mean, it technically is caused by the Radical Six, but still. <laughs> that's, that's funny. Okay. <laughs> it seemed insane, but what Luna said made sense. In fact, it explained Fi's apparently superhuman strength quite well. Oh, yeah, it does. I thought she was just built different, man. Oh. The drop kit! <laughs> well. The Myrmidon future. In twenty nine? <laughs> nope, it's, a, it's gonna be a lot more than that, I think. Oh god, <laughs> 74. No, that's insane. That would mean we were abducted more than 45 years ago. But how would this work? Because there's only three pods to freeze. I don't know, man. 
This, I feel like Fi is the fate one, right? It has to be. Or she wasn't abducted. She was created. Did I believe Sid was real? I don't know what the what's happening with the arms. And obviously, Clover and Alice have to be from the past, so. Interesting question. That's the react that's the octopus reactor. It's the one that runs the space. What? Why? Oh, this thing, yeah. You explored in the middle route. Hey, the image from the intro. Oh god, <laughs> the classics. Good one, bro. Okay, so there's no like straight answer to why they exploded, but that's Tommy just just explaining possibilities. Yeah. <laughs>
残されたわずかなほとんしょくを分け合いながらあるいは奪い合いながら細々と命をつないでおったとはいえ巻き上げられた塵やほこりはいつまでも宙を漂っていたわけではなかったやがて少しずつ少しずつそれらは地表へと舞い降りてきて空は次第に明るさを取り戻し始めた植物からは新たな緑が芽吹き動物たちの数もわずかながら増えていったそれでも45年経った今もなお成層圏にとどまったまま冬を続ける塵やほこりが大量に存在するその結果があれじゃ夕焼けと同じ原理じゃよ波長の短い青や緑の光は大気中の微粒子にぶつかり乱反射を起こして拡散してしまうじゃが波長の長い赤色光だけはそれらをすり抜けて遠くまで届くことができる地球が赤く染まって見えておるのはこのため赤い光だけが目に届いておるからあんなふうに見えるんじゃ Thank you, Tenmyuji I was speechless What could I possibly say? There was no reason for Tenmyuji to lie to us So we were standing on the moon Looking at the Earth. It was 2074. But why? Why were we there? Why were we then? Do I love this song? This song's getting added to the OST playlist. <laughs> I call it the Luna song. <laughs> Is that the, isn't that the thing from our necklace? <laughs> I was so lost in thought that I barely noticed Fi's approach. A window appeared up inside of my helmet with whisper in the corner. She seemed to be using a circuit only where we could hear. Yeah? What is it? An extra E? Oh, you mean the graffiti. Oh, the ninth one, right? What's Anna say this time? <laughs> Serious mode, Sigma. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I wouldn't. I didn't even try. It's just too much for me. <laughs> The man on the moon rules the infinite time. Hmm. So, um, what are you getting at? <laughs> yeah. That we need to save the world, basically. Wait a minute. Are you saying they think you think they're going to send us back 45 years? So the ultimate purpose of the AB project is to send us back in time to that catast catastrophe Ten Miyuji was talking about. That doesn't make sense, though. I mean, we came from that same time period before it actually. So why bring us here and then send us back? What do you mean? They need to bring us here to do the project to train us to go back because they can't just... Wait, actually, it is kind of weird because they kidnapped us from the past, right? <laughs> actually, I don't know. <laughs> do you know where she is? You do? I don't. <laughs> I 
Oh! True! I knew we heard that line before. The freaking rave! Dude, that's so far away. How can we even get back in? The rave, the one in Luna's garden. Should we bring ten Miyoji? How do we get back? <laughs> we turned and ran back in the pressure change the pressure change chambers, the others following close behind. We're going to go have a talk with somebody. You really need me to spell it out? The person behind all this. What? Might as well bring everyone. Like, literally everyone can talk to her. Besides, like, Alice, I guess. But, like, Clover knows her, Tenmyoji knows her. I remember this. Oh man, so much is gonna be revealed. Dude, I'm just gonna read it all. I might have to actually split this up. I feel like it's gonna go over two hours for sure. <laughs> yep, you're, you're definitely allowed. Yeah, might as well just bring everyone. Who cares? <laughs> ah, shut up. Just shut up. Come if you want to. We don't need to do roll call. Once we get there, I can, I can explain everything. <coughs> I actually kind of forgot about the drave <laughs> until they brought it back. Oh. Where's Luna? She didn't say anything. With that, we headed back through the airlock. Hey, we can pick up Dio too. Are we allowed to just go in again though? I guess. Bum. Yeah, I guess we can just open or they're letting us in. I don't. We can't open it, but they can. Excuse me. Oh, but the... No, the number 9 door on floor B can be open from the outside whenever. In the Luna Garden? Yeah. The Drave. Yeah. Don't worry. I don't think she's buried there or anything. Chances are she's alive. Just in the Drave. Anyway, let's move. To the Garden. Let's go. Luna's still with us? I'm worried. I haven't heard her in a bit. <laughs> Always refreshing. I think so. <laughs> no, no, I don't think we'll have to do anything like that. You see the keyhole on the grave? If I just insert this here, I pulled the key off my ankle and fitted it into the hole. I twisted it to the right until I heard something unlock. With a quiet grinding, the grave began to shift. 